Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shah. All praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Yahweh Kadash. Now we're going to start from the beginning in Genesis 25 and 23. It says, And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. See that one people, stronger than the other people are talking about the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They was created to be stronger in every way than the so-called white men who are the Edomites. See, the it, Jacob's children was created to be stronger. See, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. So let's get that stronger than the other people. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. See, the, the blacks and the Hispanics, they don't understand why they're the best in everything that they do. They just think they, they just got uh, good skills and endurance. They can outrun everybody. They can outbox everybody, outplay basketball, football, baseball. They don't understand why they're so good in these areas. It says, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord your God. And the Lord your God have chosen you to be a special people unto himself. It says, To be a special people unto himself, above all the people that are on the, upon the face of the earth. See, that's why when these two children, when, when they came out the womb, he told them exactly what was going to happen. He said, And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people and the elder shall serve the younger. And so you get verse 24 saying, when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there was twins in her womb. Verse 25, and the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. Now you look up this in uh, on Google, the Edomites is gonna tell you that this it was about him being Harry. But him being Harry was not the significant part. He came out red. And the and to know that his descendants that came from him was called Edom, which means red. See, if 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 him being Harry was so important and significant. They would have said his descendants would have been ha named as Harry, but his descendants was named Red. And it's only one group of people on earth that's red. The Indian people is not red. The Native Americans are brown skinned. They can catch a tan darker than a, a Hamite African. Now, uh, verse 26 is saying, after that came his brother out, See, that's all it said about Jacob. It said Jacob would be stronger than Esau, and it said he would grab Esau's heel. It didn't describe Jacob because everybody had so-called meddling or protection from the sun in their skin. They wasn't a, a, came out with leprosy. They didn't come out with clean leprosy where you could see the red blood through their skin. That's why they call him Red, because you can see his blood. Nobody, nobody got red skin. That's just 
it ain't reality. The only thing that's connected to a human that's red is his blood. See? Now, you see, after that, his brother came out, meaning Jacob, and he took hold of his heel, and his name was called Jacob. Verse 27, it says, the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter of men of the field. See, he know how to lie, and he know how to kill. When you con somebody, you lying to them. When you a con man, you know how to lie. See, a cunning hunter, a, a, a conner, somebody who con, they just know how to lie real good. They know how to trick people. And a hunter, that shows you ain't but one uh, nation on earth that like to hunt. Going, we going hunting. Soon as you, if you in any place and you not a, a Edomite, and somebody say, "Oh, we going hunting," you you ain't even got to really hear their voice. You gonna instantly know that this is a so-called white man. So-called because his name is their name is Edom. Esau. It says Jacob was a plain man. That's why he called the Israelites simple. They simple. It's hard to get stuff across to them because they very plain. They just want to chill at the house, chill at the crib, barbecue, chill out. They plain people. Now when you go to the Verse 30, Genesis 25 and 30, it said, Esau said unto Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with the same red pottage. For I am faint therefore was his name called Edom, meaning red. Now this this meat, we you can go on YouTube and see it. These people would eat a, a raw piece of a steak, raw, any kind of raw meat. They'll eat it and say it's healthy. It's healthy for you. Because this is what the Edomites do. And see, people acting like it, somebody talking about a skin color. It, nobody's skin is red, first of all. It ain't got nothing to do with skin color. And everybody inherit from their heritage. Whatever your heritage is, you're going to inherit a whole bunch of stuff. You're going to act just like your daddy. See? You gonna act just like your daddy, and you got privilege because of your daddy. You ain't get privilege because you was a skin color. You got privilege because of your daddy, and you you got curses because of your daddy. If you if you if you a son of Jacob, you ain't just catching hell for no reason. Your daddy was going off, and you is. Walk came in on the earth after he dropped dead dealing with the situation he created. And so this uh Joan Blumenbach, when he created this skin color, you got brown people, you got white people, black people, brown and yellow. See he him and the Rothschilds created that to take away identity and heritage. See they wanted to take away the heritage of the peoples on earth. That's another thing that these dragons did that was major. And they called it the Enlightened Era, the Enlightenment Era. This is when Blumenbach, the Rothschild uh, rich bankers, they, who was in Germany. See, Germany is the place where all the wisdom comes from, the so-called white man. This is where they get all of their wisdom. That's the wise, wisest tribe of the so-called white man. Now, in Isaiah 25 and 7, it shows you what they did during the enlightened period. And it, it always called them a mountain. It said, and he would destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all peoples and the veil that is spread over all nations. See, Blumenbach, when he came out with this skin color narrative, 
he covered the faces of the people. He covered their nationality, their, their heritage. He put a veil over the people's face. He called the, 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 the Asian peoples yellow. When they was, they was called Mongolians, that's why they have a land called Mongolia. And this Mongolia, the people had, looked like they had Down syndrome. Now you, you can't find that, they erased that history. They try to say, oh, if you, if you have incest, that ain't come, incest don't, I mean, Down syndrome don't come from incest. They try to go, hide all people. They don't want you to know who they the more, they, and they Moabites. That's who they are. They don't want you to know who the Moabites is because it's gonna identify them because they always had a secret alliance, a close alliance with each other. So if you find out who the Moabites is, that's gonna expose them. Now, but let's get them first. And Jeremiah, he, he put it plain. He made it plain for people to understand that these people was gonna try to hide the, the heritage, the bloodline, the history of people so they can hide themselves. Jeremiah 49 and 10, it says, but I have made Esau bare and have uncovered his secret places. See, they, they was gonna hide out. They got all kinds of secret places. The main secret place is the name White. See, they got that name in 1861 when uh, they adopted that name. Not, not 18, 1681. 1681 is when they start calling themselves this, but Blumenbach made it, made it even worse when he came up with a race theology. A race theology, you look that up, the father of that is Joanne Blumenbach. And this man, he was a, the, the instrument pretty much to try to hide their identity. But it's, it, the verse goes on, Jeremiah 49 and 10, he say, and he shall not be able to hide himself. See, Esau and the Edomites, they can't hide, but they tried to do so. He said his seed is spoiled. I mean, his children, his bloodline, they gonna try to hide themselves. His brethren, that's bloodline. His neighbors, that's the bloodline. They all gonna try to hide themselves. Now that's, that's how the covering cast or the veil was put on his nation. Now Jeremiah recorded the, the Israelites. Jeremiah 17 and four, it say, and thou even thyself shall discontinue from your, inher your heritage that I gave you and I will cause you to serve your enemies in the land which you knoweth not, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. So the Israelites' heritage was gonna get taken away. Their identity was gonna get taken away. And all of this happened around the 1770s. Now, 1681 is when it jumped off for the so-called white man, but the 1770s is when they made it worldwide. See, when Blumenbach came up with the race theory, and you ask somebody what, what's their heritage, they gonna throw out a, one of the race theories at you. I'm black, I'm white, see, I'm Chinese. They gonna throw you out some name that ain't got no history to it, that don't go back to no peoples and no land. There's no land called black or white. See, that's Blumenbach fulfilling prophecy, putting a veil over the peoples of the earth and hiding their identity. Because if you expose one person, you expose them all. And more, see, the Chinese, they had to call them that and, and hide their identity. Look at uh, Ezekiel chapter 25. Ezekiel chapter 25. 
Ezekiel chapter 25, starting at, hmm. Oh, Ezekiel chapter 25, verse 8, it says, Thus says the Lord God, because that Mo Moab and Seir do say, Behold, the house of Judah is like unto all the heathen. See, these Moab and Mount Seir, which is Edom, the so-called white man, and which is Moab, the Chinese, they always was together. They always came up against the Israelites. So that's why you see everything in, in, in America is made in China. And China and America got a close alliance just like they had thousands of years ago. Ain't nothing changed. Like Solomon say, ain't nothing new under the sun. Because the Lord is operating with the same nations since Genesis 10 from the beginning. It's just Blumenbach, he changed the identity of the people. Now, uh, let's see here. Oh, 2 Thessalonians. Now, we talking about the end of the world. Now, 2 Thessalonians addressed the whole situation. These two nations... Uh, the Israelites, they had their heritage taken away because they put made God angry. And the Edomites, they hide in their identity and hide in all the people's identity of the whole world. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3, it says, Let no man deceive you by any means. See, because that's going to be the main objective of this nation, the ruling nation at the end of the world. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. See, the Israelites had to fall away Jason! from their identity. The Israelites had to fall away. Then it say, and the man of sin be revealed. So the day had the first the Israelites had to go into captivity, then the so-called white man, the slave master who put them in captivity, he got to be revealed because Esau wanted to hide himself. It say, and the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Verse four identifies who is it talking about? Who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God or that is worship? So that he may sit in the, he, he as God, sit in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. See, Michelangelo, he showed himself, he put the picture up. See, they, he, put, he made uh, the little picture with God touching the so-called Messiah's hand, both two men naked. See, they showed themselves in the Renaissance period to be God that the Edomites was God, and they was God's people. They put themselves up. The China man didn't do it. The Indian man didn't do it. The Hamite Africans didn't do it. See, these are the people that wasn't in, in bondage. You know the Israelites can do it because we couldn't even, it was against the law for us to even read and write. So ain't no way we gonna put up no pictures because we was gonna get our back beat in. But when they came over here to the Native Americans, they had that picture saying, you got to worship Catholic dogma or we gonna put you to death. And that's what they did to most of the Native Americans. But this identify and reveal who this man of sin is. He showed himself that he is God. Jump down to verse, well, verse six. It say, and now ye shall know that within, that withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. So he's going to be revealed at a special time. Verse 7, for the mystery of iniquity do already work. See, that was already working when Paul worked that, wrote Thessalonians because Thessalonians was one of the first books 
that was written uh, by a disciple of Yahweh, who they ignorantly called Jesus Christ. He wrote Galatians, Thessalonians, then Peter, John, and the rest of the disciples, they wrote their books after Paul was already sending letters, traveling and sending letters. Now, uh, let's see here. Verse 8, it says, And then that wicked, not the wicked, talking about the, just any wicked person, that wicked, because they was known as the wicked. And then that wicked be revealed. Then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Verse 9, it says, Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. See, Satan is Satan, adversary. He is the adversary to the Israelites. Because they came, it was in the womb, fighting together, Jacob and Esau. See, he the adversary, and they say, with all power, signs, and lying wonder. See, the lying wonder, the main lying wonder, is Joanne Blumenbach, Blumenbach making up a race theory covering the faces of the nation, the identity of the nation. See, all the years we've been in the, the so-called Christianity church, they didn't, they didn't identify no nation in that book. The, the whole theology was replacement theology, the church replacing the Israelites. And everybody else, we don't know nothing about them. They don't drop dead and they don't exist no more. All they people fell dead and they don't exist no more. See, that's what pork chop pastor will tell you. But all of these nations got end time prophecies and they got prophecies about the, being in the kingdom. Nobody is dropping, it's becoming extinct like an like a, a elephant or some kind of uh, kangaroo. Now, um, Job 9 and 24 talks about them covering the faces of the people. This is in multiple places. What? Isaiah 25 and 7, uh, Jeremiah 49 and 10, Jeremiah 17 and 4. The Edomites covered over the faces. It say, now mind you, Job was in the land of Edom, the land of Uz, which was the son of Esau. There was where the Edomites dwelt. He was living in their, their land. Job 9 and 24, it say, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. See, that go that wicked again. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? See, if it wasn't these dragons that hid the identity of the, the, the peoples of the earth, where and who is it? What nation was hiding the identity of the Israelites? What nation was hiding their own identity? See, the, the Chinese not even hiding their identity. They got an atomic bomb called Moab. See, they they trying to let people know their identity. We know we the Moabites. That's why we got a nuclear bomb called Moab after our forefather. And we gonna use that nuclear bomb on Babylon. Now, uh, Malachi chapter one, verse four, identify who is that wicked. It reveals on who is that wicked. Malachi chapter 1, verse 4. Let me start at verse 3. It says, And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Verse 4. Whereas Edom, meaning the nation, said, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus says the Lord of hosts, They shall build, but I will throw down and they shall call them, not just Esau, they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord has indignation forever. See, 
This, these, this is the nation that the Lord set up like he set up the Egyptians. See, he let the Egyptians rule for hundreds of years over his people. See, he... he now, I'm going to go back to... Um, to Isaiah 25 and 7. It says, And he shall destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people. See, the, these Edomites is a covering cast. Because Blumenbach, with the race theory, he covered the, uh, he put a cast over everybody's face. It says that he shall destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. So it's a veil over these other nations. But they trying to hide the identity because in the enlightened period, that's when these Edomites understood who they were. And their, encyclop their Jewish encyclopedia they said that Jewry, meaning the so-called Jewish people, was Edom. They had it in their books in the 1800s, I think 1825, 1850, that's before we came off the plantation. While we on the plantation, these dragons knew who they were. They knew they were Edomites. And they had it in their encyclopedia. It's just the Israelites in bondage was trying to figure it out. And some of them did, but it wasn't their time to, to figure it out. Now, um, Joel, let me see what Joel, Joel chapter 2. Let's get there. Joel chapter 2, verse 27, it says, And ye and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. I am the Lord your God, and none else. See, he's only the God of Israel. He's never been the God of nobody else because he had to make this known so nobody got it confused. That's why he put it in the scriptures. Things written aforetime is written for our learning. Amos 3 and 2, it says, You only have I known 